Okay, I just want to show you some modifications I made to my power jack 300 watt grid tie inverter. Um, inside I've added an additional fuse. This great big fuse holder has a 1.6 amp fuse. The 5 amp fuse, which is the little brown circle there, um, blew. And the trouble is when it blew it took out the choke which is the double coil thing just to the left of it and um, <coughs> power jack were very good they sent me a whole load of new components um, so that I could repair it so it's all fixed now but I've added in this 1.6 amp fuse 5 amps is too high really um, the other thing I did was fitted in between the batten which is the metal bar there and the diodes and the MOSFETs on the other side I fitted these little rubber feet. Um, you can just see them, they're little rubber domes. And what that does is it individually spring loads the diodes against the heatsink. Um, because the batten's not terribly straight and because the diodes are all slightly different sizes, it's impossible for you to get even pressure um, without these little rubber feet. So what I did was I bought this which is a, a strip of little stick on rubber feet and then you just grab a foot and stick it on to the batten like that so if you stick um, eight rubber feet onto this batten and then reassemble the batten into the unit these rubber feet apply a nice even pressure and you can see all the diodes are lying absolutely flat against the heatsink so you get uh, maximum heat transfer and uh, best possible cooling. Anyway, those are the modifications I made to my power jack inverter which is a great device. There's nothing else like it on the market so um, it's working fine now.